Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and welcome to a new series, which probably won't happen too often, but I'm gonna make sure to try to make as many episodes as I can. It's gonna be called Unbox and Play. Now, you've seen unboxing videos, you've seen Let's Play videos. This is a combination of both of these, and the reason why I decided to do this is because I picked up a game that is an import release that not a lot of people probably know about, and it took forever to come in. It like almost took an entire month to get this. Um, now, this is not the game I'm talking about, but this is what started the whole import uh, trend for me. Mountain Blade Warband for the PS4, because I really love Mountain Blade Warband on the PC. As a matter of fact, if you haven't seen the top 10 indie videos, hint, hint, click that, um, then you should check it out, because this is my number one indie game of all time. Uh, because I just absolutely love open-world sandbox medieval games, you know, it's it's a fantastic experience. And this game you can do basically everything you can think of for an open-world game. And there was another game franchise that I'm really interested in. It's called the River City Ransom franchise here in the U.S. But overseas in Japan, it's actually called the Kunio-kun games, and they have so many more games in that franchise is ridiculous. We only got like a handful of what was actually made available in Japan. Now recently there was a game that was made available to us here in the States, but only in digital format. And the only way that I saw that you can get into English on physical format was via Play Asia. And so that's how I ended up ordering this game right here. It's River City Melee Battle Royale Special, or SP as it says on the cover here. Uh, this is a really interesting game. Um, it's not like a normal River City Ransom game where you're going around the streets beating up bad guys or anything like that. This one's a little bit different because it's like a mixture of a sports and a fighting game. So you're playing a game kind of like soccer or something like that, but you have like fighting and weapons and all that good stuff like you normally would expect in a River City Ransom game. It has a nice cutesy, huge sprites with the giant heads and arms and all that good stuff. You know, that's a really interesting title. And this is the English and Chinese version. So it works in English. That's why I bought this, because I'm not going to really buy a game that's in a language that I can't understand what it's about, unless it's a game that has, like, basically no text. Then sure, whatever. Uh, you know, like an old NES game or something like that. But this I must have... I just had to have this because I'm a huge fan of this series and we never get them. It seems like we get one of these games like maybe every 10 years or so. <laughs> so um, obviously without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the inside because it's got a loose PS4 disc. We got to make sure the disc is in good shape. Okay, and now here we are at the unboxing station, people. And BAM! Let's unbox this bad boy right here. Still sealed in the shrink wrap. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a cut here. It's a nice surgical slice there with a knife. And we'll take the plastic off here if I can actually get it off. There we go. Yes. Get that plastic off. Okay, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful game. Look how precious the artwork is. I just really love this artwork. Wow. That is beautiful. So let's go ahead and check out the back here, which is just absolutely precious here. I mean, you guys have to see some of this here. It's got English on here. Item drops when push the switch. Use them to outwit your enemy. Score goals. Opponents will take damages when you score. <laughs> Indeed they will. And then we have a nice spelling of gauge there. Gouage will be filled as you damaged. In rage mode, your overall and super arts will power up. Indeed. Hopefully the English in the actual game is better than it was on the back of the cover. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, actually open the contents inside now. And yes, entirely a loose disc here. Let's go ahead and inspect it. This is a common problem with uh, PS4 games for some reason. No other console that I've noticed seems to have this trouble. At least modern consoles. Uh, but the disc does look pretty good. 
I'm not seeing any apparent damage um, shining against the light there, so I think we should be fine. So let's just go ahead and pop that in the spindle here. Okay, there we go. And then as far as a manual, we do have a little bit of a brochure here. Let's go ahead and just to focus so you guys can see that better. Okay. Yes, River City Melee Battle Royale SP Tudu Group. This game is published, by the way, by Arc System Works. And it does give us a little bit of a thing in control. It does have both English, traditional, and simplified Chinese. And basically, this just shows you the controls and special move uh, things here. Here's the, um, I guess, the traditional or simplified, whichever one was first. Traditional, I guess. Uh, right there. And then uh, simplified. I guess if you really want to know certain things like uh, what the uh, square button is in Chinese, I guess you can, you know, <laughs> uh, read the Chinese uh, thing if you know how to pronounce it. But fantastic stuff. Uh, not didn't really expect much unboxing this because you don't really get much out of a PS4 game nowadays, right? So let's check out the actual game now. Okay, so. Uh, we've got to get into the game right now. River City Melee Battle Royale SP, or Special, I guess you could say. That's what we're checking out right now. We're going to see how this game actually goes for us. I'm really interested to see how it's going to turn out. There's no... Whoa, wow, that was loud. i got to probably turn the audio down on my TV a bit. Hold on a second. Too lazy to find the remote, so I'll just adjust it with the side panel of the TV here that'll work there's no save data why do the Japanese games always ask if we want to create save data you should just do it you know like no I don't want to waste any of my 2.5 terabytes of space on a save file for this game don't create save data for me that's really stupid <laughs> but uh, here we are we're getting ready to get into the game now okay so let's go ahead and get started here push options just like it says to do. The idea is still really loud. Hold on a second. This game really pumps out some audio, holy crap. But uh, looks pretty nice so far, I must say. Check it out here. And I'll set the game things down just a little bit. Okay. Set button control. Oh, nice. Mappable buttons. Always mappable buttons. Always, people. You gotta have them. Simultaneous button press. Oh, I guess maybe the press jumping... Or probably punch and kick together to do jump like the old style. Okay, and we can change your language options here. Oh, so you got Korean. It didn't even say anything about Korean, but it's here, people. If you want to do Korean, we've got it. Okay, and let's see what the music guide is here. I guess this is just a different theme song. So it's got a little double dragon music. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's the moves. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I can dig that. So we do have online options, of course, but we're just going to do a little uh, regular uh, stuff here. So it's a single player. Enjoy each school's story. Oh, they got a story mode. That's interesting. Okay. Let's just do a free battle just to see what this is about. So we got Battle Royale and then Tag Match. So this one, I guess, is like a free-for-all, and this is a two-on-two. -two. Okay. Number of matches. Let's do one round match. Um, the item sound that they make for the dialogue is really annoying. It, it really is. Okay, so, um, okay. Let's do this, I guess. I don't know, maybe this is more a fighting game. For some reason, I was thinking there was, like, uh, other modes. The cover clearly showed what looked like a soccer goal or something like that. But there's good old Alex from Niketsu High School. Let's, uh, play as him. Let's uh, pair up against, um, let's see who we could pair up against. I guess Outlaw. 
I don't know how to play the game, so we'll set them to easy. Oh, we got a different... Okay. Because, yeah, four people. Well, let's fight some girls, because uh, why not? And... You know, let's also fight some, uh... Japanese wrestlers that wear cat masks, because, you know, we're pretty inclusive here, people. <laughs> okay. Prepare for what's to come. This tournament has no rules. A true battle where all fight till the end. Okay, yada, yada. Okay. Wow, I really like the retro art style. This is really nice. Rich players will enter the battle tournament. Kunio, of course. Now players from all teams have been set. The battle finally begins. Too much bogus di dialogue. Just let us fight. A lot of dialogue for a fighting game. Okay. Ready. Fight. Okay. So there's our kick there. Okay. Punch. And then jump. Okay. Rock on. So it looks like punch is the item that wraps. And that, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. This play is actually a lot like uh, River City Ransom. Uh, it's pretty hectic. It's kind of like, oh yeah, it's like a River City Ransom wrestling fighting game in a way, I suppose. Okay. Oh. He got me. Okay, bastard. Get let go of me. <laughs> okay. So, they got the red. I wonder if that's like some kind of... I'm not sure if it's damage or if that's like a super meter of some kind. I think it may be super meter, possibly. It's pretty hectic so far, but I'm doing pretty good. Looks like if I base it off my health bars here. I am playing on an easy, though, so... Uh, wow, that guy really, uh, did a number on me there. Okay, whoops. I wonder if there's a block option at all. It doesn't seem like there is. But, anyways, looks like we're gonna win this one. The kick... Seems kind of overpowered. I'm assuming every character has their own abilities and whatnot. Okay. Oh, shoot. So, yeah. That was a really easy match. That wasn't very challenging. But it's kind of fun. It's interesting. And I guess, uh... Let's see. If that's the final results. The winner is... Niketsu High School. Woo! Of course. Didn't you see us win? You know, I mean, obviously, we won. <laughs> okay. But I guess uh, the initial takeaway I've got with this, at least this particular mode that I played here, seemed a lot like Smash Brothers. Like, it's a Smash Brothers River City Ransom. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but let's see what the tag match is like here. So we get different arenas. Okay, that's good. That's good. So it looks like we got a variety of them. Let's check out the soccer field, because like I said, I remember seeing something about a soccer field there. So I wonder if there's actual goals of some kind. Guessing not, though. So let's check out some of their schools here. Uh, let's see. The Neketsu Dodgeball Club. Sure, let's play as them this time. And Team Misu Juzu. Well, it's up to difficulty just a little bit. Yeah, just uh, increase the challenge just a tiny bit. See if we can muster it up. I guess uh, me and the guy with the... Yeah, we'll, we'll do the teams like that, I think. Alright, let's see how this goes now. Okay. Not sure what the difference is with the dodgeball club thing, but let's check out a different character, I suppose. Uh, let's be a Shinichi. Or Shinichi. Shinichi. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh, look at that! The... At least, at least they're on my team. All the people with weapons? Hells yeah, we gotta have weapons. 
Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I see like an actual- Whoa, I actually am playing soccer, kind of. Kick that. Get that ball in there. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it could be just for decoration, possibly, but... I'm gonna try to get that goal in. Yeah, it might be just for decoration. Woo! Got a goal! <laughs> yeah, it is. But I guess it is a weapon, too, so... Not sure where the tag part of it comes into play because there's still clearly uh, a whole bunch of people on the field. I don't see anything about tagging going on here. How do I tag? Is it is that just what they basically call a two-player, like a two-on-two -two match? Is it a tag? Do a little trick here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can still beat you up while playing soccer. That's right. Your football, rather. Another goal made. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more challenging now. Um, this Mitsu person is the one that's purely kicking our butts. They're a lot taller, too. Like, I'm wondering if they're like a boss character. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Much better. We took out one of their players, so that should be pretty good. Yeah, they definitely have more health. You can see they do more damage, so uh, this game apparently does give you the option to play as boss characters or something. I guess characters that uh, are more powerful. They're totally kicking my butt. Now, I'm not doing nearly enough damage to them. But uh, I think Kato or whatever might be a boss character too, because they're just kind of like hanging on for me. They're doing some good damage. So I'm just going to stick back and uh, I guess I'll get the soccer ball. Might as well. <laughs> the soccer ball is took. Oh, bastard! The freaking goalie took me out! Ha! <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, at least, uh, at least we still won. Good times. Good times. All I've gotten... Wow, the trophies are fast, too. I've already unlocked three trophies. Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, um... Just a little bit of a check out on those here. Now let's go ahead and check out the single player. Might as well. Just check out easy mode. Okay. Just seeing what kind of options we have here. Let's be the cheerleader team. The cheerleader team will be the dominant champions here. Okay, now we're actually having a story. <laughs> well, it is a story mode, so I suppose it would make sense. All right, let's just skip the story. It's not not very important for this video's context. I'm a pretty fast reader. You guys can always pause, I suppose, if you want to see what it's all about. But it's just not important right now. Let's just move on with the game, people. Can I do that somehow? I can, okay. Hit options to skip it. Okay. So I don't know if it's a free-for-all match or what. Suppose it is. But we could choose our characters. I'm assuming because we have a roster of characters here, there may be a reason to... Yeah, a nut shot? Let's check that out. Let's play Mamozono. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like we're fighting the same small arena that we originally started in. Oh, wow. I took like 13 damage, or is that the other guy that took 13? Yeah, I'm like doing very little damage. I mean, obviously, cheerleader team probably is not the best team to play with, but... Uh... <laughs> That's right, you're not going to spin him around. He's going to beat you all up. Wow, I... They did a lot of damage quick. Come on, I'm the cheerleader! Don't beat up the cheerleader! <laughs> okay, so they should have said something about, like, difficulty based on uh, the characters you're playing as. Because these guys are kicking my butt. Unless it's just supposed to be hard to kind of, like, test where you're at at the beginning of the game. That could be it. But, I don't know. I mean, look at my health. I'm like, I've clearly kicked their butts, but for some reason, I'm barely doing any damage compared to them. Yeah, I'm like playing like the jobber character. <laughs> my character's a jobber. I even have the most points. Ugh. Now we gotta wait for them to beat themselves up. Finally, finally somebody's about to win this match. Come on, Turachi, finish him off. There you go. Good boy, good boy. So I wonder what's going to happen is the fact that I lost. Oh, okay, so because we're doing multiple rounds, I guess, uh, guess I play another character? Okay. I mean, I'll still get my butt kicked, I'm pretty sure, but let's give it a try. Is this a weapon, or is this an item I can use? Okay, I guess it is a weapon. Okay, grab it. Okay, I can use it too? I apparently drank it. It looked like, at least. Okay, I don't know how I did that uh, kick maneuver. That was pretty interesting, though. Oh, okay, that is my jump kick. Oh, wow, that's a good jump kick maneuver. So I guess maybe that's what... I guess because I had a special meter. Because you have the little meter, it's right below the character portrait. And now that I'm out of that, I'm not doing nearly enough damage to really uh, fight these guys off well. But I still have the most health, so that's pretty good. Maybe we can actually uh, pull off an upset. But I need to go after that Tarazi that these cat dudes really have a lot of health and they're not. They're tough fighters, too. Crap. It's not going well, people. <laughs> okay, wow, wow. Not cool, not cool. I wish there was, like, a block or some other kind of defend button, because, like, it's really hard to pull off a defensive maneuver. Okay, I need to back off here. Wonder if I can somehow do, like, a... No. I guess maybe some characters can, but mine can't. Ha! <laughs> Bastard. Now, this game makes, uh... I don't know, this game's really derpy compared to ARMS. I really enjoyed the uh, ARMS demo, or whatever. A lot of fun. It was fun enough that it made me pre-order the game, but... This one I'm not too sure about. Like, I'm sure I'll have fun with it, and... It'll probably be really fun when you're playing a group of four people, but the team balance is definitely an issue. Uh, because I clearly hit them a lot more than they hit me, but... There's teams that are just clearly better. And that's not a good thing, in my opinion. The game should at least make an outline thing, like, to let you know, okay, this is like a pro team, this is an amateur team, and so on. Kind of give you an idea of what you can expect stats-wise. Okay, apparently my headbutt's really good. Because, like, look how powerful it is. And it's my kick maneuver, too. 
So I don't know, this might be the character to play with here. Headbutt them to death. No. Oh wow, combo breaker! Oh, guess not. Oh man, that, I pulled a bad timing on that one. I'm really messing it up now. There we go. Much better. Much better performance, people. Obviously, just gonna keep on doing the headbutt. It's the most effective maneuver I've got in my freaking lineup here. Because the other... Yeah, it's just a regular punch. Like, why would I do a regular punch when I got a nuclear freaking headbutt? I still lost, but that was all my fault this time. So I had an actual good character, but, uh... The winner. Cheerlead! Whoa, we won? We... How did we win? That doesn't even make sense. We lost every match. Oh, they're basing it on points. Okay, okay, right on. So, I guess it doesn't matter that I got knocked out. I, just, I kicked their butts still, the game saw. But I am playing an easy difficulty, too. Okay. But I think that's enough for this game, guys. I this, think this gives us a pretty good idea of what we can expect with this game. Um, it's a really unique and interesting game. Excellent for multiplayer. I don't know how well of a value it will deliver for somebody that's in single player, unless you're just a huge fan of the Kunio Kun games. Um, maybe even bigger than me. <laughs> Uh, maybe you'll really dig the hell out of it then. I had some fun, though, and I'll probably still give it a chance, you know, but I, I don't know if it's a, a game that has longevity. So, But let me know what you guys think. Is this something you're interested in checking out? Um, you can get it f on PSN. You know, you can always get it digitally there. Or you can do like I did and get it off Play Asia. It's going to take a little while, though. I do have to warn you. It took like three to four weeks to get it. But... Man, I'm glad I got it. So, I guess that's all I've got time for now. But till then, Down Phoenix out.